I've been told that I need to re-opt in all my subscribers. So how do I actually do this? This can seem a bit of a daunting task at first. With GDPR just around the corner, a lot of us have been told that we need to re-opt in all of our subscribers in order to be compliant. This week, we're going to find out how you can quickly do this and make the most and make a successful job of it. But before we jump in, there is a little side note we have covered in some of our previous videos. If you have an existing working relationship with your subscribers, for example, their current customers, under legitimate interest clause of GDPR, you are well within your rights to contact them regarding services and updates, etc. So you may not actually need to perform a re-opt-in of all your subscribers. But if you do need to re-opt everyone in, let's find out how to do this. When I talk to a lot of companies, one of the biggest concerns is that when asking everyone to re-opt in, they're going to lose a lot of their mailing list. This does not have to happen. And if you approach everything just right, you'll keep your great subscriber list but with the confidence of being fully GDPR compliant. GDPR goes live on the 25th of May, 2018. So if you plan to ask your subscribers to re-opt in, now is the time to do it. This gives you a chance to send your re-opt-in email and a few follow-up emails before the deadline. Remember, you need to get this done before 25th of May. So that's enough chit chat. Let's find out how we can ask everybody to re-opt in. The approach that we'd recommend and one that we're seeing a lot of companies follow is actually very simple. This week, McDonald's, yes, I'm ashamed to say I'm on their mailing list, and a few hardware suppliers that we use at Email Blaster, such as Cable Monkey, followed this approach. So here's the approach. Design your nice looking email asking your subscribers to click on a button in order to stay on your mailing list. When they click on the button, well, forward them to a simple thank you page on your website. So expecting something a little more complicated? No, it's really that simple. Okay, it is a little more complicated, but if you're using Email Blaster, we take care of the complicated. The Email Blaster analytics will automatically record every subscriber who clicked on that button to stay on your mailing list. Even further, to comply with GDPR, the Email Blaster analytics will provide you with a record of the exact time and date that every subscriber clicked on that button. This is really perfect as under GDPR, you will need to keep a record of when consent was gained. All this data inside your Email Blaster can be exported with just a few clicks. And that's pretty much it. But next, let's find out how to really optimize your re-opt-in email. First off, your resubscribe button on your mailer needs to be bold and stand out. If your subscribers can't find it within a second or two, the boat has sailed and you've missed the opportunity to keep that subscriber. Also, don't do what I saw another company doing this week. On their normal mailer, they buried the re-opt-in button right at the footer. This was tiny and well, I pretty much missed it. Remember, go big and bold. Your GDPR mailer needs to be a dedicated mailer, not attached to the footer of a normal mailer. Try to avoid lots of legal phrases and walls of text. To maximize the amount of people that click on that re-opt-in button, keep everything very simple. Just mention that the data laws are changing on the 25th of May and that you need to make sure that you re-opt in to keep receiving current updates. That's really all you need to mention. And finally, dangle a carrot. On its own, a re-opt-in button on your mailer may not grab a huge amount of attention, but this is where the carrot comes into play. Email marketing, well, it's a two-way relationship. If you want something from your subscribers, such as asking them to take the time to re-opt in, make sure you provide something in return. McDonald's, well, they offered me a chance to win a hundred pound voucher if I re-opted in. Cable Monkey, they offered me a chance to win a bit of techie kit worth £5,000. Both of these grabbed my attention. Without both companies offering me that carrot, I probably would not have clicked the re-opt-in button. 
Okay, there we go. That's potentially a very scary and daunting task made simple. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this useful and be sure to check out our other GDPR related videos. We've pretty much got a video on every big GDPR topic and you can check those out on our website. <laughs>